Hello, this is Louise from Manchester. Welcome back to my channel. And just today, I'm going to do a little uh, video about my pomegranate plant. And here it is. You may have seen it in the videos where I was outside, and it has been outside for during the summer. And now it's very late in the season, it started to flower. So whether I get any pomegranates from it, I don't know. But um, the risk is that they will drop if I do leave it outside. So brought it back indoors and hopefully I've got it on a heat mat as well just to keep the temperature because uh, I don't have my heating on. So I just want it to be a nice even temperature for it. And hopefully we'll get some pomegranates or a pomegranate I had one before last year I got this in 2018 um, from Canada from a very large uh, plant nursery along with my um, Pareto lemon and it had nice fruits attached to this there's a huge uh, pomegranate tree and this was the smallest one that I could find because obviously I couldn't bring back a large one and um, this one had two little fruits on it and um, last year it flowered and fruited I'll see if I can find the picture and I'll put that up and there was a little fruit on it that eventually split but there were actual pomegranates inside you know little ones it wasn't very sweet to taste but um, it was nice to see that I'd actually got one you know to stay on the the plant so they're not that easy to grow I mean if you just wanted a green plant then that's fine but if you actually want the fruit you um, they are quite fussy you, they need heat um, and they need lots of Sun so here it is I might have to do some hand pollination with a brush see if I can get in there and It's sort of a tube like flower, and I can't seem to focus on it properly. Let's see if I can get it out there, it might be a bit better angle. So you can just see the pollen and the stamens just a little bit sort of covered up by the petals they don't open wide like a, a flower they sort of stay like this tube shape and just the end part sort of opens up there was one that had opened up slightly and I, as I touched it it just fell off basically and I had a look inside and there was a little grub inside the flower so that that would never have made it you know even it ha if it had been pollinated the little tiny grub would have eaten any fruit that was trying to form which is a shame um, let's have a look see over here there's another one look what's happened there something's munched let's say these were outside so they may have got had some caterpillars or things you know eating them you can see there were lots of buds forming so it's not that easy to get them to to flower I did have a much larger um, pomegranate given to me as a gift from my children um, and I got that around about the same time that I got this so that was in 2018 so I got this in September 2018 when I was in uh, Canada and I got the other uh, the larger uh, pomegranate from I think it was Victoriana nurseries I'm not sure um, but it was a full-size plant and I never got a single flower off that 
um, which is a shame really, you know, um, I, put, and I put it outside, gave it the same growing conditions as this plant had, kept it indoors during the winter and then put it outside last year and this year um, I left it out, well not this year, I should say last year, 2019, I left it outside to overwinter because I'd heard that people, you know, said that, you know, they are frost hardy etc but it didn't make it although the winter wasn't that severe we did have some frost um, that uh, pomegranate plant didn't make it unfortunately this one I kept inside you know I wasn't going to take the risk with that what I will try to do is take some cuttings from this plant because now that I know it's a fruiting one because not all pomegranate plants are fruiting apparently some will never fruit so there's that as well you know if you're going to buy a plant then maybe get one that's already got fruit on it then you can be guaranteed you know that at least it's got that ability and so I'm thinking I might take cuttings and I'm not sure which branches I would probably go for um, maybe something like this type of wood. Um, I don't want to chop into the larger branches, but I have tried these little spindly um, stems, but they've never taken. But you know, I'll, I'll do a mixture maybe. Some of the smaller stems and maybe um, some of the slightly woodier stems and see if I can, you know, make more of them have one at least one backup plant you know because it's difficult i've not seen this fruiting um pomegranate uh you know whenever i travel around the uk i always visit the local nurseries to see what plants they've got and uh, i've yet to come across one that's got a fruiting uh, pomegranate so uh yeah i don't want to lose this one i'll take as you know hopefully take good care of it and it continues to grow it has grown a lot in size all this here this is all new growth um, so this is all new growth this year and you do have to feed these plants uh, like a potash type of um, feed to encourage it to flower um, but they do go dormant, like let's say in the middle of winter, it may drop some of its leaves. It's already dropped quite a few, and that's normal. And you'll ha you'll end up with uh, what look like dead twigs, but it it's kind of deciduous in a way. Um, those twigs will come back to life, and in the spring you'll have lots of new growth. So you don't, you know, sort of like discard those stems or chop them up, you know, um, leave them on. Yeah, so that's my pomegranate. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And if you've got any comments to make about this pomegranate and or if you're growing pomegranate yourself and you've got some tips you can give me um, on you know how to maintain it, then uh, please feel free to uh, comment below. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye bye.